This is Jesus Juan Will Benegar, so I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I'm in Mountain House, California. I thought I'd give you a little quick tour of the community. My daughter lives here. She moved here about, I estimate, uh, 15 years ago. She bought a home here. She used to live in San Jose, California, rented in San Jose, California, but decided, hey, I'm going to buy a house at an affordable price in a community that's about an hour away from uh, her husband's work as a Santa Clara County Sheriff's Deputy in San Jose, California. So this was affordable at the time, but also this is the key for understanding Mountain House, Texas. Essentially a part of Tracy, California. It's a little, it's a little enclave and uh, it's academically, for all intents and perfects, perfect, uh, it's a perfect score of four. It gets a perfect score of four. So for a lot of people who want to educate their children, raise their children with high academic standards and not have to worry about crime, uh, gangs, uh, you know, low achievement scores, other activities that may uh, interfere with academics. Uh, this is the perfect place to go. It's basically an enclave outside of a plant community outside of Tracy, just but part of Tracy. And again, the school gets a perfect score of four. four. And also is rated in the top 10% academically in the state of California. Very good, very good. And my daughter, daughter, my granddaughter, Ava graduates today and she's headed off to university. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these students here have expectations of being doctors, lawyers, administrators, bosses, uh, and such. Mountain House High School is a majority Asian school and majority specifically a lot of Southeast Asian folks here. As you walk the streets of these small homes, again, these are relatively small homes compared to big lots. Like I'm in Texas, I have, I have a third acre. These are lucky to be on a quarter acre if they're, if they're that. Again, they're typically two-story homes. And uh, 10, 15 years ago, they were quite affordable. Uh, you'd have to talk to your realtor to find out what's affordable today. And of course, there are this is a planned development. They have other areas over there and other areas over there where they're building. And they have a small, tiny shopping center down the road here. But they even have a bigger one a little bit further down with upscale shops. But right down the street here, they have a new Safeway gasoline station, very shops. So let's do a quick jaunt around the neighborhood. Hope you like it. If you have any comments, questions, or sections, uh, questions or suggestions, let me try to say that right. Uh, feel free to contact me. I'll try my best to do my, uh, give you my answers. Again, I was born and raised in San Jose, California. So was my daughter and both of my daughters. One of them lives in San Jose and bought a house in San Jose. And, uh, but my, this daughter decided to buy a house here and a uh, mountain house. Essentially because she knew the school and the academics would be excellent and were excellent at the time. So, and they've uh, only proven to continue to be excellent so again this is about an hour outside of San Jose you essentially uh, go north on the East Bay and then you cross over a range of mountains into the valley and there you are an hour later later pretty close to Livermore very close to Tracy uh, to the community of Mountain House California and again, it's a planned, very planned community. Uh, everything's tightly fit together. And we're going to take a walk down the street here. Hope you like the video. I'm going to show you the shopping center. I'm going to show you the uh, houses and uh, the avenues, etc. Let's get started. My daughter's home is over there on the left, right across from this beautiful little park here. Again, everything has matured quite nicely. Uh, over the last few years, all the trees have grown, all the tiny trees that they grow. Now they're quite nice. These are sycamores, if I know correctly. This is a park with a playground. Some old man, old Sikh gentleman is over there sitting, you know, enjoying a nice day. And um, and again, across the street, my one of my grandchildren, my two, two, my, two of my grandsons were, were playing, playing uh, catch football and we're having a great time. So. Again, a lot of trees, extremely well planned, and here's 
some of the housing here uh, again uh, small houses two-story typically let's get a little closer view So if you wanted to buy a house here, I'd recommend contacting a realtor. There's a lot of new developments around here in this uh, planned community. So I like this one right here. I like this uh, design with the tile, sort of Mediterranean feel. What do you think? And of course you can get your big truck. Get your big truck. Uh, one interesting feature I've noticed while driving around here, I see a lot of Teslas. My daughter has a Tesla. I go to the shopping center, there's Teslas, and everybody seems to have Teslas. Again, very tiny front yards going, I mean, if a front yard, oh, I estimate six feet, that's about it, from uh, there to there, six feet. And of course, uh, a backyard that's maybe 10 by 10, feet, 10 by 20 feet, and that's about it. Some people maintain their yards quite nicely, but there's not much yard to maintain. Quite a few people have roses. I notice roses grow very, very nicely. And this one's been, uh, they did some trimming and they're in the process of cleaning everything up. Look at that, got some. My wife likes to trim roses. Here's another home. Just thought I should give you a quick view of this home right here. It's one of the it's a very nice larger home. I actually like this one. Has some nice bushes, flowers, nice porch. Again, very small. Let me just pan from the uh, elementary school, which is rather, rather, rather large. And um, got the little bit of grass here, the well maintained sidewalk. Then you got the small section here. And of course, the front of the house. And it's two stories. Very nice. Would you like to live here? Some people would. It's a great place to raise your children. You can ride your bike around here. Again, it's an island essentially outside of Tracy, which is part, but part of Tracy. And uh, people come here to raise their family. You can ride your bicycle. They have uh, several parks, etc., etc. I like the out exterior look of this house. Could use some paint. It's a bit windy. It's Tracy is known for being super, super, super windy. Across the street here is the very large elementary school. It goes about, I would estimate, four square blocks. <clears throat> if I was living in South, I'd say four square blocks. <laughs> Quite significant. So let's head to a different other spot. Hope you enjoy this video. Again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, uh, of course you can call and tag the folks at uh, Mountain House. Of course you can always talk to a realtor and they'll say whatever you want to hear, because that's how realtors work. They don't uh, try to contradict you. They're highly, highly motivated to make the sale. So whatever you say, they'll say, yeah, you're right. Uh, or if you say, I don't like my house, well, why not? It's a beautiful community. I love it. I... <laughs> so let's go across the street and uh, cross into the park. And then I'll go to a different neighborhood. In fact, let's go to the shopping center and check that out. There's a little area which we walked, my wife and I. And here's that park we were talking about earlier. So if you have little children, I'm pretty sure they'd love to go in this park. And of course it's all grassy, beautiful palm trees, etc., etc. But still quite windy.
This is the uh, city hall, town hall. I guess it's not a city hall, it's town hall. Because we're still in Tracy, even though they call the area a mountain house. So that's a library, town hall. I like the landscaping. I really like how they spent a lot of time and effort to landscape the town. Over there they have tennis courts and they're pretty busy. Very nice tennis courts. And I'm quite sure they're quite busy at the old uh, tennis courts. Especially on a beautiful day like today in the low to mid 70s. And uh, cool breeze, definitely a cool breeze. So people are playing tennis over there. Do love these lavenders. Smells fantastic. So there's a wide shot Oops. of town hall, not city hall. And this is the town of Mountain House, and rather large parking lot. And over there, we're gonna go, uh, right over there, we're gonna go check out a park that my wife and I walked around the last couple days. Quite nice. Let me show you the tennis courts and then um, basketball courts. Again, uh, if you have a family, you can't complain about this place. There's plenty of basketball courts, tennis courts, the schools are, you know, the top 10%, etc. Etc. Uh, but then some folks, uh, you know, don't care about that stuff. So let me just show you the tennis courts before we head off for our little walk. So here we are. I mean, this is the basketball courts. It's the basketball courts right here. And of course the city employees are making sure everything's okay. Make sure undesirables <laughs> aren't around. So, folks are playing tennis. It's a beautiful day in California. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, folks, having a great time playing tennis. This is Mountain House Creek, Main Street, Great Valley Parkway is that way, so you can walk through these beautifully uh, landscaped areas and then you come down here and you can walk around this pond. To the right, they're building new homes, some townhouses, some condos, some homes, single family homes etc etc if you have any questions about the real estate here i would talk to a realtor hopefully you find one that's actually reputable etc etc so my wife and i walked here quite a bit and have a very nice looking little pond right here in the middle a water feature which i really enjoy and it's an area where you can uh the water could collect because it's a low area what do you think there's one of the main roads, you go there, you go to the Safeway, about two miles down the road. And again, I really like this kind of uh, decomposed granite to walk on. And again, quite a bit of construction in this very much planned community of Mountain House, California. Part of Tracy, California. You can hear construction in the background. Uh, at night, when I was sleeping, it's very, very quiet. Again, because they don't have a lot. They don't have any industry that I know about here. Uh, they have very, very little retail. It's mainly a bedroom community, a part of Tracy, California. Just on the other side of the mountains. On the other side of Livermore. On the other side of... Uh, basically Silicon Valley.
What do you think? Could you live here? There's a very small shopping center here in uh, Mountain House, basically on the periphery. Let me show you a little bit of what they have here. Very modest shopping center. If you want to go do some more, you know, significant shopping, you can go down the road here. I think about two miles away, there's another shopping center. Significant shopping center. An actual upscale shopping center. But this one's pretty nice. Uh, you get pretty much what you want. Let me turn around the camera and show you what we have here in Mountain House. But again, about less than uh, two miles from my daughter's home. Over here you have uh, Safeway gasoline station. Relatively decent pricing for uh, California. It has a little shop there. Over here you have uh, the Safeway grocery store. Amazingly high prices. I'm actually shocked at high, how high the prices are at uh, Safeway. They have a few things that are like, you know, two for ones and you get three, you get a discount and stuff like that. But I estimate 95% of their stuff is significantly 20% higher than what I'm used to in Texas. Over there they have an uh, English bath reading and writing center for the high achievers here in uh, Mountain House. You can send your kids here instead of uh, to go play. You can send them here to learn math. English, reading and writing. Mountain Mike's Pizza, Stone Ridge Nails, uh, Indian uh, food restaurant. It says they're very specifically Southeast Asian food. There's a significant Southeast Asian community in Mountain House. I'm pretty sure they have a great sense of community, camaraderie, and they go, hey, we all come from the same experience. We migrated over here, or their parents migrated over here, and now they can have their kids go to great schools. Over there is a Starbucks where my granddaughter loves to go, etc., etc. Again, beautiful landscaping. That's what you get when you have a newish community that's rather upscale and stuff like that. And again, the gasoline station over there. So what do you think of Mount House? Again, uh, let's take a picture of that. How do you pronounce that? A-A-P-P-A-K-A-D-A-I. Apakadai, Indian Chetnad, whatever that is, restaurant. And of course, the learning center where the high achieving children are sent. Their parents are saying, hey, you gotta learn better math, English, reading skills. And at 12 years of age, you got to prepare for the SAT. <laughs> Some families are like that. So there's my uh, rental car. It's, uh, I decided to get something hybrid. I got This one's getting pretty good mileage, over 50 miles a gallon for my uh, Prius. I'm very, very happy about that. Hope you're doing fantastic. Let's go uh, check out the high school next. We're now in Mountain House High School, the Mustangs, and of course this is an affluent upscale neighborhood and the uh, cost of entry to this school, this community, this enclave is uh, a bit much for a lot of folks uh, down the road here in Tracy, Stockton, so the school definitely has uh, quite the amenities, quite the uh, infrastructure. So. Here's the front, and of course they have a gigantic football field, they have a gigantic track field, and uh, here we are at Mountain House High School. Again, uh, the price of admission uh, to go to the school, because it's quite far from the uh, rest of the folks, and again, Tracy Stockton, it's um, quite, quite expensive. So there's Mountain House High School. Just a quick shot. 
This administration building, very nice. What do you think? And it goes on for quite a while. Salam al Pantai. Mariah Ortiz. <laughs> Megan Jane. Emma Lara. Zachariah Valentuela. Kaya Simmons. Rashawn Dwayne Munroy. Selena Laura Dorado. Thanks for checking out my video on Mount House and Mount House High School in the vicinity. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And ring the bell for future notifications. And your kind and friendly comments are always, you know, appreciated. Thank you very much. Again, the opinions expressed in this video are my own. But uh, as you can see, Mountain House, California is an excellent community to raise your child. And especially, the schools are A+. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, gracias. Adiós. Bye-bye.